Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Think Tank First Light 35L bag. Um, I recently reached out to Think Tank um, because we needed a new bag for a lot of our video production uh, accessories, monitors, audio, uh, clamps. Um, our actual cage system is in here for our Sony FX3, which we're shooting on right now. And so they were kind enough to send this out for us to test out and see what we thought of it. Now, of course, these are always unbiased reviews of their bags, but we absolutely love their bags. Um, we just hauled in a bunch of uh, equipment for a bunch of headshot stuff that we're gonna be doing today. We're testing out a bunch of headshot lighting. So we bought a bunch of modifiers, strobes, stuff like that in. So uh, we needed a few things out of this bag, so we brought it along. So let's head inside. So as I mentioned today, we are doing a big photo shoot as far as headshots are concerned. We brought a bunch of modifiers, we brought our main camera bag, our strobe flash, speed light bag, laptop to wirelessly sync, um, and of course our Think Tank bag, the First Light 35L, which is what we're talking about today. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big Think Tank fan, of course unbiased review, but they do send these bags out for us to test out, see what we think of them. We got this bag specifically because we needed a backup video bag. So we could not fit all of the video stuff that we use on a day-to-day -day basis in our main camera bag. So this is kind of taking over our backup bag. What we have inside the bag, there's a lot of stuff because it has a lot of room. Um, we have our, our, our GoPro 10 black headphones, a couple field recorders, the Zoom, 4F or F4, which is a phenomenal field recorder. We use it a lot for weddings when we need to hook into the DJ. It is also great for backup audio when we use our shotgun mic. We have the Aperture DD mic in here. Um, we also have our Atomos Ninja uh, monitor, field recorder. We don't use the field recorder part as much, more the monitor, but we do have that option. Um, and then we've also got our Sennheiser G4s or G5s, G4. Uh, wireless lav system, that's also what I'm using right now. We've got batteries, battery banks, hard drives, um, arcade system for the Sony FX3, which again I mentioned we're shooting on right now. Um, and a bunch of other accessories um, that we have off to the side. So we have a lot of clamps. We have a lot of our clamp systems. Um, so this is what we'll be using some of this today. That's why I brought this bag in. Um, but pretty much this bag and our main airport accelerator camera bag here, they pretty much stay in the car all week long because these are the two bags that we go to for a lot of our video work. Now we don't bring this bag out as much when it comes to photo work just because most of those accessories and stuff we're gonna get in our Think Tank bag down here or it has our strobe, speed lights, and all the photo accessories that we use on a regular basis. We absolutely love this bag. In general, we're crazy about Think Tank just because they make organization very simple for David Disman Photography and Media Unlocked when we're going on set. Being organized, having control of all of your equipment coming in and out of your bag, knowing exactly where it's at is extremely important because we only have so much time to set up, break down, get the shot, right? So we need to know where everything is and we need to know how to get to it. So we absolutely love the Think Tank bags specifically this First Light 35L, which we've been very happy with. And uh, I think it retails for $3.99. We'll of course add a link at the end of the video so you guys can go check it out. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment, send us an email, we'd love to hear from you. Other than that, as always guys, I'll catch you next time.